examination of his DNA sample by authorities. Dato Sri Anwar was freed on police bail less than 24 hours after his arrest yesterday. One of his lawyers, R. Siva Rasa, spoke to reporters earlier this morning describing Dato Sri Anwar's night in police custody. Uh, Dato Sri Anwar was just released uh, on police uh, bail a few minutes ago. He spent the last night uh, on a cold cement floor and as a result that has aggravated his back injury. He was in some pain this morning which we put on record uh, when the police recorded a short further statement. Uh, we just completed the formalities of the release and is on its way back to its house. Dato Sri Anwar has not been charged but will have to report back to the police in a month's time on August 18th. Barely five hours after his release, he held a press conference at his home in Kuala Lumpur, referring to his arrest and trial a decade ago for a similar offence which he said was politically motivated. Dato Sri Anwar called on senior police officers to be transparent in this investigation. I urge uh, senior police officers to exercise very professional conduct in these investigations. I went through hell 1998-1999, and there's relevance to this case. I'm now challenging the credibility, competence of the IGP and the AG. They should not use this as a personal vendetta against me. He's also asking the Prime Minister, Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi, to ensure that the probe is carried out professionally. Datuk Sri Anwar said he had given police his full cooperation last night when he was being questioned by the police at the Kuala Lumpur Hospital where he was taken for medical checks and a DNA test. However, he had refused to give his blood for a DNA sample. Jawab pakar HKL, kami akan ambil cara profesional, saya kata saya yakin. Kemudian saya tanya, darah ni nak... Buat apa? Kami akan kirim untuk tindakan polis. Ha, saya kata, kalau begitu, saya nak jaminan apakah proses ini dapat memastikan tidak ada maksud percobaan atau tindakan sebelumnya menipu, meletakkan DNA yang terawal Dato Sri Anwar also said he has yet to see the details of the police report against him despite having been questioned for six hours and detained overnight. He said there has never been a case where a suspect has been denied access to the police report against him or did not know exactly what he was accused of. Now past president Datuk Sri Abdul Hadi Awang also supports Anwar's refusal to give his DNA sample voluntarily. He said DNA samples can be manipulated any time to deny justice, adding that the basic legal principle of a person being innocent until proven guilty has to be upheld. Meanwhile, the police are considering going to court to compel Datuk Sri Anwar to give his DNA sample. Deputy IGP Tan Sri Ismail Omar said a DNA sample is one of the more crucial elements in their investigation into the sodomy allegation against the PKR advisor. That's why we are looking to it and we are studying to it. Eh? We are looking to that aspect, the legal aspect. We do not want to be excused of anything beyond what we can do, what the police can do. So we are looking to that. According to Tan Sri Ismail, that the Sri Anwar did not cooperate with the police when they asked him to provide a sample following his arrest yesterday. He had refused to undergo a full medical examination or provide a DNA sample at the Kuala Lumpur Hospital. At Parliament lobby today, Home Minister Datuk Sri Syed Hamid Abbas said Datuk Sri Anwar has no reason to fear in giving his DNA sample to the police. If you want to uphold truth, the simple thing is to give DNA and let the, the this expert read the DNA. Because DNA cannot lie. Why should you be worried and so on? DNA is not going to be administered by, you know, creating any injury or harm to the person. He also explained the events leading to the arrest of Datuk Sri Anwar, which has been criticized by certain parties. So what happened is, after the ACA, Anwar decided the, the direction that he was taking was going towards his house. I'm sure the police must have a reasonable ground to believe that he's going back to the house. You might remember that if he goes back to the house, the last time he wanted to serve the 111, eh, 
Is it? We were not allowed to enter the house. He has got so many bodyguards. And if we force ourselves, there will be an incident. Again, we will be blamed. Datuk Sri Najib Razak wants police to treat Datuk Sri Anwar with the decorum and respect that he deserves. The Deputy Prime Minister said that by doing so, the people will be assured that the police are acting appropriately. Speaking to reporters today, Datuk Sri Najib was asked if, if the manner in which the arrest was carried out would reflect badly on Malaysia. No, I think it's, been, it's, been, it's already been answered, that question. Does it make so much difference, another half an hour, 45 minutes? We don't go down to the detail of instructing the police how to do it. It is up to them to use their discretion as to what kind of um, uh, intervention that uh, necessary on their part. You, bet, you can address that question to the police. Dr. Sri Anwar was arrested near his home an hour before he was due to meet police. Sent to arrest him were some 20 policemen and balaclava-clad commandos who arrived in a contingent of marked and unmarked police cars. The arrest of Dr. Sri Anwar has caught the attention of foreign nations. The U.S. said the arrest raises serious concerns. The U.S. State Department has issued a statement urging the Malaysian government to resolve the matter in a manner that builds confidence in the impartial rule of law in the country. This comes less than two weeks after Malaysia accused the U.S. of meddling in its internal affairs and issued a formal protest to the U.S. over its earlier comments on the investigation into the sodomy allegation against Atusri Anwar. Japan, meanwhile, according to an AFP report, plans to seek information on the arrest during an upcoming ASEAN meeting. Japan's chief government spokesman said the country's foreign minister, Masahiko Komura, who will be attending the meeting in Singapore, will use the occasion to obtain a better grasp of the situation before they react.